So um, we are going to take a look at uh, the 3.75 inch scale Star Wars figure from Hasbro. Um, I just got it uh, recently but I think this was released way way back uh, I think two years ago I, I think. Um, yeah. Um, reason why I purchased it is because um, I have uh, a concept in mind uh, in toy photography that requires me to have this um, scale this 3 inch scale figure I don't normally buy 3 inch scales but uh, yeah um, so um, I got this really you know in, in a really good condition so but yeah and this is the most articulated stormtrooper uh, in this scale so far by far that I've seen um, yeah so let's go ahead and open the figure It's uh, well carded. Okay. I was looking for a loose one, but unfortunately, I can't really find any. Uh, I think. Okay, so there we have the guns. I think this has a better rifle. It seems like this has a better. Uh, the figure has a better rifle than the six-inch scale one. table is a bit wobbly so here's a closer look at the stormtrooper in a 3.75 inch scale or it has um, the the head sculpt um, it's not as accurate as uh, you can see um, but let me check the articulation just take this out so it has a huge uh, ball joint there um, I think uh, I'm gonna just replace the head because I'm not happy with it um, but for the range of motion uh, as you can see it can tilt it can move up it can move downward you know it can swivel and then for the shoulder pads uh, it's on a single piece right there so you can see that there's a huge uh, there's a good range of motion right there okay uh, it can turn it doesn't have a bicep swivel unfortunately uh, it has a single joint elbow and then for the wrist uh, it can swivel I think it's in a soft plastic not on a ball joint but probably a peg right there so and then for the upper body here the torso so it has a good range of motion also it can move uh, upward it can move uh, downward okay um, it doesn't have a waist articulation that's a little bit of a bummer and then for the legs uh, it can go upward inside uh, sideways like that then you can um, move it like that so you have to turn it this one um, unlike the unlike the the six inch one right this one is a bit different uh, it doesn't have a tie swivel it's just a hinge right there so yeah the, the range of motion is still good though yeah um for the l for the knee it has a single joint hinge okay and then for the feet it has a hinge right there um unfortunately it doesn't have an ankle pivot you know it doesn't move sideways 
but it can turn it can swivel it can go upward and downward position so yeah there you go and then for the accessories um <laughs> Okay, I think uh, let's start with this rifle, uh, with this uh, gun right there, right here. Okay, it's a little small, and I think there's a peg right there. Okay, you can just put it. Not sure if I'm putting this correctly, but so I may have kind of figured it out. Um, so the the way on how the gun is being placed on the holster, um, actually it, it looks weird, but somehow it works. So um, this is just a hole right there. Uh, you're gonna insert the the gun through there. Um. Okay, uh, you're gonna insert the gun right there. And by the way, the the belt is in on a uh, individual piece, so it moves. So there you go. Um, it's just uh, it looks weird because the gun right there is sticking out. You know, instead of uh like a pouch like design for uh all hol holsters. Where you can just put the 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 gun inside of it. This one it just looks weird, but somehow it works, so um, it's not a huge deal for me. And then um, at the back of the figure, um, there's a slot right there. I think it's for the backpack for the sand trooper. Um, I already checked uh, with the rifle. This is the rifle. Right, and there's this piece right here, which I uh, really don't know what the, uh, what this is for. I'm trying to figure it out, and it seems I really can't. Um, I really don't know what is this is for. So if you, if you know it, uh, kindly leave um, any uh, comments below. But right now, uh, as, I, as I can see, there's a slot right there. I think I can just put it right there for the meantime. For the time being. So I really don't know. Uh, I, really, uh, I really apologize for that. But yeah. It has a hinge. But like I said, I really don't know what this is for. Mm -hmm. as far as uh, the figure is able to uh, wield uh, the weapons uh, the figure can actually um, he can move um, he can wield his gun very firmly you know it's well secured on the hand of the figure so that's all right and for the rifle There's not a problem there either as well you know. so he can wield uh, the rifle so for size comparison we do have here the Star Wars Lego uh, Stormtrooper figure and then of course the figure that we are currently reviewing and and um, the 6 inch uh, Star Wars Black Series by Hasbro Stormtrooper so this is the 6 inch version of this one and um, as you can see um, Hasbro wasn't able to pull off the scalp of the head uh, consistently uh, like the 6 inch one I think it's much harder for them to do it but actually um, with this figure overall um, despite with some uh, shortcomings in some articulation areas like bicep swivel, double jointed here and there, uh, the ankle pivot or some hinge on the wrist. Um, pretty much the figure is already okay for me. Um, it's just that the uh, the face sculpt is really 
you know uh, an eyesore for me so i will be replacing that soon so yeah but pretty much the figure is really solid you know um uh, and i really don't know how much this figure cost right now the, the correct amount i don't even know if i paid over price for this one it's just that i'm really looking for something that i can you know take a photo of uh, because i have like um uh, a concept that i had in mind and um i really need this figure to pull that off so yeah so um if you want to check out my um uh, other works so uh, you can check me out on instagram my facebook page uh please do subscribe to this channel and see you later guys